video when I was like, it, there was a crack. I'm like, I have to explore. It's, hopefully it's just in the fairing. It's not. So look at how much I had to cut out to fix the problem. So right here above this is where the mast sets, the pressure from the mast is setting. And I don't think the mast broke it and put the crack in it, but I think what happened, water got in the stringer and it froze and it cracked it. And this was just the weak spot. But since I had to cut, since I cut all this out, this was all full of wood and it was all wet. It had mahogany in there. So since I had to cut it all out anyway, I'm gonna strengthen up the where the mass sets. All right, so look up in here. You see that? That's all like plywood that they put in there 40 years ago. That's marine plywood. Look, it's just mush. That's mahogany. But look, you still starting to eat into that. So, but when I cut that, that thing went boom. All right, it's wiggling. Look. It's coming out. It's coming out. There it is. Come up in here. So, I'm trying to understand what, how they thought that the beam is not setting on there. The, the mast is setting right there. I'm trying to understand what they thought was gonna hold that son of a bitch up. I mean, it might hold for 10 years, 20 years, whatever. I don't know how long it's been jacked up. What a stupid, lazy design. I think they just did, I think they were just lazy. Oh, so this, so now, Watch. Watch. So I, th I think I might need a beer. <laughs> because I, I really wasn't expecting all this. But I got it figured out. Okay. Right. So now that you guys seen that hole, I have to drive. We, we have to drive like four hours to Pennsylvania to get the structural... Uh, fiberglass so it's like plywood it's a four by eight sheet and it's half i tried to get three quarter but i i got half inch but it's 750 dollars a sheet for a four by eight like a four by eight sheet so this is place called stru structural fiberglass it's not the place that makes it and it's here in town too, but they wouldn't sell it to me because I wasn't buying enough. But she told, the person on the phone told me to come here and they'd sell it to me like a dealer or something. So let's go check it out. How heavy is it? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. heavy. Yeah. 140 pounds. 140 pounds. Yeah, that stuff, I had to drive three minutes to get here to get it. I gotta have it because it goes, my stringers go down in the back bottom of the little six foot sailboat, and then the mast comes here. I go a couple years, and then the stringers to hold that mast up. I need something super strong. And then you can, uh, you don't have to stand this down. You need to step this up before you, like, fall off. Yeah, yeah. There's a mold release on there, so anytime you're 
glue in or whatever, just scuff it. Yeah. Just scuff this thing down. Yeah. You're yeah. just trying to get that outside. Smooth off. Alright. Alright. The first step was to strengthen the mass block with 1708 fiberglass, which is like a biaxle on one side and a mat on the other side. So do you see it's fluffy on one side and then it has a biaxle fabric that's crisscrossed <clears throat> on the other. So I've got two pieces on this side done. So I put one, I, I put epoxy, West Systems epoxy, and made glue and pushed it on there. And then anywhere where there, like there's a space up top, I added fiberglass to the, to the mix to get structure. To, and so I'm going to put two on this side, two on this side. Another one on this side, and another, I'm going to come in like this. That way, it, it makes the side strong. And then, as I get to the center, I'll just put a bunch of epoxy and goop and shove the center one up in there. So let's put the first piece of fiberglass on this piece. So I'll put a piece of fiberglass from here up and up along the top. So see, that's 1708. You see how that has? It's a biaxial kind of thing with stitching, and then on this side, it's got like a fluffy side and the fluffy side I'm always going to put towards the sailboat framing or the skin of the sailboat so and that's just West that's 10 pup 10 pumps of West systems epoxy and you have to stir it it says a hundred times a hundred So then you just pour it out, it's easy. Then you just wet the fiberglass out. All right, so that's wetted out. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit more. One, one pump, and another pump. And I'm gonna thicken it up with some silica. Yeah. I'm sure everybody's heard, don't breathe it in. You have to make like a kind of a glue. So I'll take it over and smear it everywhere where that fiberglass is going on on a super thin coat. It'll make it bond better. It'll like a glue, make it sticky. That way when you're putting it up on there, it won't sit there and try to come off. It makes it a little bit weaker, but it'd be all right. You can add this stuff to it like cotton, little ground up pieces of cotton if you wanted to. And So let's go over there and smear this stuff everywhere where I need it. And then sometimes you just got to use your hand and get it up in there. That's the front. That's the side that goes up. This side on here. You got it? Yeah. So the sheet of fiberglass is in there. So you see how the fiberglass is folded up to the top and folded down. So that's the first board. Now this, and you just put a thin coat of epoxy that's been thickened.
That's it. Now, we just gotta... How long do you have to wait? Well, I've gotta figure out a way to make that board stay there and not sag down. Hopefully, it looks like it's staying. It's pretty tight in there. Now I have to, all right, so I got the board in. Yeah. So that process just happens again and again and again and again until I can't do it anymore. And then I'll just shove one piece up the middle. Next time on the Bohemian, I build the ledger and the stringer beams for the mass post. So, you guys can see how that's notched out and that's gonna fit up in there like that. You see how that works? That's what I'm talking about. Now it's sitting on that ledger that is just extra strength. And then, so we'll just glue with that epoxy right to it. <laughs> 